you're in the way. Oil's the lifeblood of the engine, and mine has to be changed more often than I want it to, and this stuff ain't cheap, so let's fix that. To make this make sense, um, this is an old engine. I mean, we're, we're talking about really old technology that makes all this stuff work, and they didn't have oil filters when this came out. They actually used a wire mesh. Been on oil filters have become a thing more recently, allowing us to have longer intervals in between oil changes and better health for the engine. So there's a lot of reasons that I want to move over to it. And today we had someone who partners with us from B and C that has a spin-on oil filter adapter that's gonna work perfectly in the Red Rocket. We usually start over here, but today we're starting over here and uh, just so happens the far side of the engine because the alternator's in the way of what we're looking at and doing. And what we're talking about is this guy right here. On the inside of this, there is a, a, a mesh it's, and it's supposed to catch debris, but it's huge. It doesn't actually catch the small particles and stuff uh, debris and things from the engine that uh, can cause problems over time. So we want to remove this, but there's not a whole lot of space for the oil filter. And some of them have spin-on oil filters that go back here. And so in my situation, we're gonna put it more up right here. So uh, let's go over there now. And this part from BNC Specialty Products is exactly what I'm talking about. You can see that this guy's gonna mount to the engine and then allow the oil filter to be mounted upwards so that uh, we can have easy access to it whenever we need to, especially with the small clearance that we have between the engine and firewall. And gosh, you can see that this was, this was built and machined. It's, these things are beautiful. Airplane parts are absolutely amazing, but they don't leave you hanging. They send you with everything that you're going to need, like a vermitherm gasket, crush gasket, hardware, instructions, paperwork, everything that you need to make it work. Now, in my situation, I'm also gonna be having a uh, oil cooler that can potentially get in the way of putting this on, and that's where this guy comes in. This is a block that goes on that makes it stick out a little bit further so I have clearance for other items on the back side of the accessory case. And again, gaskets for the, what's needed, hardware to make it work, and instructions. And over here, the kit came with an oil filter. Awesome, and that's from Champion, who's you know one of the sponsors of the airplane right now, but this is a supporting product. This is a vermitherm. But what this does is it goes inside of there and then, uh, opens up and closes the ports to the oil filter so that the engine can, can heat up properly and then cool down properly. And there's already something on the airplane that kind of does this, but in a different way. And that's this guy right here. And the difference being this one works off of oil viscosity. So as the engine heats up, this opens up and allows the oil to be able to go through the cooler. Um, versus again, the vermitherm over here that does it off of oil temperature. and that one being more reliable than this one. So we're gonna remove the components of this and use it as a cap so that our oil cooler can continue to work. This is gonna be a pretty straightforward process. Remove the old one, install the new one, and then put the oil filter on. We're not gonna put oil inside of it today because there's a couple things I still need to do underneath, but this is getting us closer to engine startup, which I'm incredibly excited for. So let's go ahead and get that old one off. One of the hardest parts of doing this for you guys is crap like this where I'm trying to give you a good view of what's going on, but it's in my way. All right, I've got all of the bolts out except this one over here, which is gonna be a little bit of a pain. So we're gonna have to go extra slow with this guy to, to get that one. And I'm also seeing a potential problem. I am hoping that I have clearance between my alternator and this new bracket, but uh, we'll see when we get there. A little janky, but hey, it worked. All right, before we go any further, I wanna make sure that, oh, oh yeah, that, that's gonna work. Whew, okay, I'm, I'm happy that I didn't need to use this. I thought that I was going to need to use it and you know, it got in the way of the alternator, which I didn't think about. But this is still a really great option if you need to have a little bit more spacing for your spin on oil filter. So uh, yeah, cool product BNC. All right, I just wanted to show this to you guys really quick. This is what I'm talking about when I say a mesh filter. And uh, big stuff on the outside. It's got a smaller filter on the inside right here 
but uh, it is nothing in comparison to a spin on oil filter, which is why this is such an awesome alternative to be able to do it. Oh, I gotta go take the other thing like this off. All right, there it is. That's the difference. Again, oil viscosity versus oil temperature. Uh, much better. Now what's cool is that this comes with a new gasket for that and I just have to put this back on and use it like a plug. So I'll do that in just a little bit. But next up, let's get this guy installed in this guy and get it ready for it reinstalling. And again, it comes with the hardware that I need, the gasket that I need, and a new vermitherm gasket. And it also comes with gasket sealer that you, you put on this guy and it helps seal it just a little bit better. I've got some of that over, over there as well, but uh, we'll go ahead and use what they bring, gave to us. All right, all I've got left now is a little bit of safety wiring to do. There we go. All right, I didn't show it, but I got the gasket uh, sealer on the gasket here. This is safety wired. And uh, I came up over here and got this guy safety wired as well. And he is back in, everything is torqued down. So now it's just time to put this guy in and hopefully it goes in as easy as it came out. All right, I finally got to that stupid bolt right here. I had to remove the alternator to do it. Uh, removing this bolt was a lot easier than trying to figure this one out. But hey, you know what? It's done. So uh, let's put the screw on oil filter on. This guy right here. One thing I do like about this is that it tells you which oil filters to use. So we have a choice of the Champion 84, 108, and 109. And we'll see what here we are running in 108. So just gonna screw this guy up. Oh crap. It, this always happens with airplanes. I don't know if you saw it when I went and put that filter on, this guy is hitting the filter. Now that's why they make that standoff is so you can get some clearance. And again, we couldn't use that because of our alternator, but we have this guy here and I know how my oil line is gonna be routed. So I actually don't need this fitting, which will push this all the way back. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that, get this fitting reinstalled, and we'll try that spin on again. What a pain. I ended up having to take this off because when I was unscrewing this, it was running into that. It's just, oh, it is a tight space in here, but as is airplane. So let's try this again and There we go. And then I just safety wire that to this little nub right here or that little nub right over there. And everything should be good to go. It looks like I have just enough clearance to be able to get that on. Ah, <sighs> guys, it worked. <sighs> All right, as frustrating as it is to have to remove 10 things to be able to install one new thing, it's totally, totally worth it. And guys, I wanted to give a huge thank you to BNC for helping us out with this portion of the product because we couldn't have done it without them. And you guys should definitely check out their website at bnc.com to see if they have something that you need because they do more than just spin on oil filters. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I'm getting really close to getting this thing done and I'm very, very excited. Just a handful more things before we can do startup. So stay tuned. Thank you guys for following and enjoying this project. I'm enjoying seeing your guys' comments and it really helps motivate me to keep going. Anyways, as always, share aviation wherever you can and we'll see you in the next one.